the two uh, anti herpetic drugs, which are actually Cetophobia and Foscarinet. Uh, the Cetophobia is actually the analog of cytosine, and uh, this is activated exclusively by host cell kinases, as I've already shown you in the diagram. And its active form is actually a diphosphate form that inhibits DNA polymerase of herpes, cytomegalovirus, adenovirus, and papilloma virus. Okay, again, it actually uh, this Cetophobia. Where is actually activated against herpes, cytomegalovirus, adenovirus, and papillomavirus, which is human papillomavirus. And is also active against acyclovir and against cyclovir resistant strains that lack thymidine kinase because the cytophobia does not require thymidine kinase for its activation. Well, the resistance is uh, just because of the mutations in the DNA polymerase gene. The pharmacokinetics that is usually given through uh, intravenous route can be given uh, through intravitreal route, which is actually given inside the vitreous uh, humor, and also it is given through topical route. Elimination is that very important to note is that because it is very slowly eliminated, as a result of which uh, we have prolonged dosage interval in uh, cedophore. Clinical uses that is used in cytomegalovirus retinitis, in mucocutaneous herpes, and also used in genital warts. The side effect profile says that uh, it actually causes severe nephrotoxicity, very severe nephrotoxicity. It causes neutropenia. You have seen that nephrotoxicity is caused by most of the, these antiherpetic drugs. And they, uh, the pseudophobia also caused neutropenia, and this was also caused by, uh, again, cyclovir. It causes metabolic acidosis, causes uh, molecular hypotonia. It must be muscular hypotonia, sorry. <laughs> contraindication, it is contraindicated in renal impaired patients or those patients who are taking nephrotoxic drugs, which include NSAIDs. And uh, when you are giving pseudophobia uh, for the sake of a better management you should give proben acid because uh, that prevents nephrotoxicity now we're going to talk about the last drug which is uh, foscarinet and this is actually uh, this is not an anti uh, metabolite there are so many uh, spelling mistakes i've done here because i'm so sleepy seriously <laughs> anyway though, as uh, i've already said that foscarinet and there was another drug which was uh, formivirsin they were not anti metabolites because they start with the word f and f word is bad so they, they just don't follow the rules <laughs> like most of the other anti uh, herpetic drugs so and um, <clears throat> They are actually, instead of uh, nucleoside analogs, they are actually phosphophoronate derivatives. And that is why they do not require phosphorylation for their activation. And they reversibly inhibit viral DNA, uh, RNA polymerase, DNA polymerase, and reverse transcriptase. And resistance is obviously mutation in polymerase gene. Uh, pharmacokinetics says that it is actually given uh, through IV because it has poor oral absorption. Uh, the pseudophobia was also given IV uh, through intravenous route. It has good volume of distribution. It can enter CNS. Uh, more than 10% actually enters bone matrix from where it is very slowly released. Elimination is actually through uh, kidneys. Either it can be through glomerular filtration or tubular secretion. Clinical uses that it's actually, uh, for scan it is actually an alternative for the treatment and prophylaxis of CME infections and uh, in uh, acyclovir resistance, uh, herpes simplex virus and herpes zoster infections. But it's actually an alternative uh, treatment. Uh, the side effects are uh, that it has nephrotoxicity 30%. It causes electrolyte imbalance. Because it causes electrolyte imbalance, uh, it uh, has hypocalcemic. Uh, it can cause hypocalcemia, hypermagnesia, hypo or hyperphosphatemia. And because of hypocalcemia, the patient can have seizures and tremors and arrhythmias. The patient can also have uh, anemia, nausea, and fever. So it has a kind of bad side effect profile. So it is usually used when. Uh, 
the Gansai clover is pseudophobia are not effective. 